Treatment of Bardock stones at ERCP can be technically challenging and inefficient. In this Florida Live Endoscopy teaching video, we discuss evidence-based methods and demonstrate the use of new fluoroscopic technologies that make stone extraction at ERCP simple and efficient. The 60-year-old patient presented with large Bardock stones at MRCP. A large periampillary diverticulum was seen at ERCP and the bile duct was selectively cannulated using a wire guided sphincter toe. Clangiogram revealed three large bile duct stones and a few smaller bile duct stones. When stones are seen at calandrogram, the most important question that each endoscopist must ask is whether advanced endoscopy techniques are required namely the need for balloon stranteroplasty and the need for lithotripsy. The importance of these questions have been addressed in a prior randomized trial by our group. A balloon stranteroplasty must be performed when the tapered bile duct is seen, which is defined as size of the distal bile duct one centimeter above the ampullary orifice, being less than 50% the size of the extrahepatic bile duct in its largest dimension. Lithotripsy may be needed based on the stone duct ratio, whereby the size of the largest stone exceeds the size of the bile duct distal to the stone. If these two questions can be thoughtfully considered prior to embarking on an intervention, then ERCB becomes less complex and more efficient using software integrated within Omega Medical Imaging. The size of the duodenoscope is first measured to be the reference standard, which in this case is 13.5 millimeters. Subsequently, the size of the largest stone and size of the duct distal to the stone are measured to calculate the stone duct ratio. Then the size of the extrahepatic duct in its largest dimension and the size of the duct one centimeter above the ampullary orifice is estimated to determine whether the distal duct is tapered or not. In this particular case, the distal duct was not tapered and the stone duct ratio was less than one, and hence the determination was made to proceed with an ERCP adopting the standard technique. After performing a sphincterotomy to the duct duodenal junction, stone extraction was commenced. Please note the square box around the region of interest. This is artificial intelligence integrated within Omega Medical Imaging, whereby radiation exposure is limited to the region of interest, thereby minimizing radiation hazard to patients and providers. Stone extraction is then performed and must begin with the distal most stone. The technique of stone extraction involves positioning the fully inflated 15 mm extraction balloon above the stone. The big wheel of the duodenoscope must be fully deflected down and then the duodenoscope must be torqued clockwise and then gently advanced inwards in the axis of the bile duct. The objective is not to pull the stone out but rather to have the balloon and the duodenoscope extract the stone using its own gravity. This prevents balloon tears and minimizes the possibility of ductal perforations. The more proximal stones are then removed one after the other. Also, it is important to irrigate the bile duct with saline to remove any residual debris and to minimize stone recurrence. Finally, an occlusion clangiogram is obtained to confirm the extraction of all stone fragments. Once again, please note the angle in which the balloon extraction is performed. 